A special litigation committee is typically made up of disinterested directors whom the board appoints to determine if litigation against the other directors should go forward. In the 1979 case Auerbach v. Bennett, the Court of Appeals of New York considered if a court was required to dismiss a shareholder derivative suit based on the decision of a special litigation committee. In 1975, the managers of General Telephone and Electronics Corporation directed an internal investigation to ascertain whether its directors made questionable payments to public officials of political parties in foreign countries. The Audit Committee found evidence that, from 1971 to 75, the corporation had made payments abroad constituting bribes and kickbacks in amounts totaling more than $11 million. Additionally, the committee found that certain members of the board of directors had been personally involved in some of the transactions. Subsequently, Elias Auerbach, a shareholder in the corporation, brought a shareholder derivative action on the corporation's behalf. Auerbach alleged that the board members involved in the improper transactions and the corporation's outside auditors, Arthur Anderson and Company, were liable to the corporation for the money lost. In response, the Board of Directors created a special litigation committee comprised of three disinterested directors who joined the board after the questionable transactions took place. The committee was asked to decide whether it was in the corporation's best interests to continue with the shareholder derivative suit. Ultimately, the special litigation committee concluded that continuation of the suit would serve no proper interest of the corporation or its shareholders. The Special Litigation Committee then filed a motion to dismiss the suit, which the trial court granted. Later, Stanley Wallenstein, as executor of the estate of Ida Wallenstein, a shareholder of the corporation, intervened and filed an appeal. The appellate court reversed, concluding that the committee couldn't use the business judgment rule to dismiss the suit. William Bennett, on behalf of the corporation, then appealed the decision to the Court of Appeals of New York.